All of the right elements seem to have come together to make the Outer Worlds an enthralling game. The creators of the original Fallout, as well as Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, came back together after years apart to direct this game. They did so with Obsidian Entertainment, a studio known for excellent RPGs such as Fallout New Vegas and Pillars of Eternity. And finally, it was a choice-driven RPG in a niche style that has fallen to the wayside in recent years. Expectations for this game are high because of those things, and fortunately, the Outer Worlds still manages to deliver an RPG that is even better than the sum of its parts. The Outer Worlds is truthfully crafted around player choice, even more so than other titles that like to boast that same idea. Those systems and gameplay and dialogue are built on the backbone of an intriguing universe, and the dialogue is enjoyable and entertaining at its worst, and genre leading at its best. The Outer Worlds is a must play for any RPG fan, and a hallmark example of a systems driven game that still manages to deliver an awesome narrative. More than anything else, the Outer Worlds triumphs in its dialogue and the universe it creates. The Outer Worlds is set in a dystopian colony, but the colony reached that point thanks to the privatization of space travel rather than the nuclear war of Fallout. As such, this universe feels a bit more tangible and believable than a lot of other sci-fi, and even though the developers are hesitant to call the Outer Worlds political, it clearly does have a lot to say about the pitfalls of capitalism and the dangers of large corporations that care more about the bottom line than their employees. It critiques those systems with a sarcastic wit that would be hard for most game writers to pull off, but Obsidian Entertainment managed to do so excellently. I was grinning during almost every conversation in the Outer Worlds due to how clever the writing was. Even when the dialogue is being less coy and more serious, it's still engrossing. The game does use some pulp sci-fi tropes, but it tackles them from a unique perspective so those ideas never feel repetitive. On that note, all of the companions are quirky and lovable in their own right. Their quests actually contain some of the best dialogue in the whole game. Depending on the player's actions, the stories within the Outer Worlds are all surprisingly dynamic. Companions are completely optional as well, but they will impact various stories and quests in unique ways if they are in your party. Most narrative games succumb to only having the illusion of choice, but that is not the case with The Outer Worlds. The amount of intricacy in the writing is outstanding, and the writers manage to maintain that while injecting their fair share of wit and clever storytelling. As someone who likes to play charisma or dialogue-based characters in RPGs, I'm used to seeing the cracks in a game's writing show after playing it for a long time. That being said, I never ran into this problem with The Outer Worlds. The Outer Worlds shows that Obsidian Entertainment has some of the best writers in the gaming industry, and Microsoft is lucky to have them as a first party studio now. That amount of choice carries over to gameplay as well. Though many situations will either work best via stealth or combat, there are still many ways to approach them. Like the best of the RPG genre, The Outer Worlds lets players pour points into different skills and perks that can bring one's character in a variety of different directions. I created both a dialogue-focused character and one that focused on melee and stealth, and the Outer Worlds managed to support both of them without ever feeling unnatural. The flaw system is a neat, if avoidable, addition that gives riskier players more fleshed out characters, adding another layer onto an already deep game. Just having systems for systems sake can be annoying in some RPGs, but each modifiable part of the Outer Worlds ultimately serves the player's experience in a positive way that results in a feeling of immersion rather than frustration. Though The Outer Worlds is well written, it is worth keeping in mind that the game and its world are smaller than what you may be expecting. I was able to clear my first playthrough in under 20 hours, though the typical length when doing more side content should be closer to 30. Its worlds are also segmented, so there is never truly one open area to explore uninterrupted. The Outer Worlds will be constantly compared to Fallout New Vegas, and while it stands toe to toe with that game from a narrative and gameplay perspective, it is quite different in scope. The Outer Worlds focuses on delivering smaller yet lively and intricate worlds, rather than one massive one like in most of Bethesda's RPGs. That being said, it still feels fun and fresh to replay, which is a good sign for a shorter RPG. The split up nature of The Outer Worlds also highlights my one major problem with the game, the loading times. I constantly ran into these, even within the same planet, and the loading screens aren't exactly short. Players that denounce fast travel may not run into this as much, but they really began to annoy me as I was hopping around worlds for late game side quest cleanup. The Outer Worlds autosaves also have a bad habit of spawning players right before a loading screen rather than right after. The loading problems in smaller scope clearly signify the game's smaller budget and team, and while it doesn't hurt the narrative of gameplay, it does result in an unavoidable flaw on modern hardware. 
Still, that is one minor blemish in an otherwise pristine package and is definitely not a good reason to avoid this game. Even if The Outer Worlds isn't as big as some players are thinking, its quality surpasses all expectations. Surprisingly, The Outer Worlds isn't that buggy, and that's a problem that has plagued many of Obsidian Entertainment's launches. The Outer Worlds rewards player choice and experimentation on a level that I have not seen since The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and it manages to do so in both gameplay and story. With the best rating of any game thus far in 2019, any fan of RPGs needs to play The Outer Worlds. DualShockers is giving The Outer Worlds a 9.5 out of 10. To read more about my time with The Outer Worlds, you can check out my full review at DualShockers.com, which is linked in the description.